practices. Okay, um, so just extra practice, you guys. We're just gonna go through these one by one and crank them out. All right, number one, at the factory, 16% of the pens were defective. If there were 75 pens, how many were defective? How do I find the answer to this? Um, Tommy. I bet you know. You do? Tell me how, tell me what to do. I would do that too. I love that idea. I see some cross canceling magic waiting to happen. Do you guys see it? Cameron? Yeah, let's make, uh, let's cross cancel by 25, divide 75 and 100 by 25. Now I've got three and a four. I see some more cross canceling magic waiting to happen. Isaiah? Oh, I, yeah, let's divide both of those by four. I don't, I literally almost don't have anything left to multiply. What's my answer? Well, wow. Yeah. wow, right. So on the line, we're going to write 12 pens. Nice. All right. Make sense to everybody? Did I go too fast on that one? Are we all good? good? We're good. Number two, the meal costs $35. Oh, this must have been written in like 1999 or something. And the customer left a 20% tip. You can't go out for dinner anywhere in Fort Collins for $35, I feel like. No, less than $50. True, good point, good point. But I, this, is, this is inferring like a sit down restaurant, right? The, because it's a 20% tip. How much is the tip? How much was the tip? What do we do here? Owen? 20% 20, 20 of 35. What are we doing? Um, unitary or fractions? Fraction. This one's going to be definitely easier to do with a fraction, I think. Let's just do it. All right, we can cross off um, the 20 and the one. Let's let's cross cancel right here. We've got, we can divide 20 and 100 by 20, right? We get five down here, 20 out there. Oh, look Seven. at this. Let's go ahead and cross cancel that five and the 35. What's my answer? Seven. Okay, $7. Got to put a label on that. Let's do... Two more on this side, and then I think I might have you guys do some toyos. Let's do number five. Velma has 300 stickers in her collection. Scooby-Doo. 50 57% of them are scratch and sniff. How many stickers are scratch and sniff? What are we doing? Fractions or unitary? Fractions. Tell me how to set it up, Lucy M. Um, do 57 over 100. Okay. And then 300 over one. Times, times yep, okay. times 300 over one. Oh, look at that. Let's just go ahead and cross, cancel those zeros. And now I have 57 times three, which we can do in our heads. What's 50 times three, folks? 171. What is it, Landon? And then what, yeah, you, you did the whole thing for me, Shafiq. And then what's seven times three? 21, 150 plus 21 is 171 stickers. All right, go ahead and finish that side. Give you guys about three minutes to do that. Look at what we have. Okay, number three, the pants cost $40. Gina has a coupon for 15% off. How much money did she save? Okay, so what I'm looking for is like, what is the discount? How much money did she save? Lucy Cole, can you tell me how to do that? Okay, nice job. And then did you do some cross canceling? Oh, I like that idea, okay. And then did you do the five and the 15? Nice. So you got three, and then what did you get for your final answer? I got $6, good. Okay, I wanna give you guys a heads up on some tricky kind of problems within this unit. This time it said, how much money did she save? So what we did is was exactly what we were supposed to, to do, but sometimes it's gonna tell us something like, how much did she pay for the pants? Would that have been a different answer? 
yeah, you would have wanted to find 85% of $40 because the discount was 15%. All right, number four, who's got that one? Okay, Ashlyn G, can you read it for me, please? And then tell me how to do it. Okay, what did you do? Okay. Oh yeah, wait, nine and nine and five, right? Because you divided both by two. Okay. Okay, and then did you cross cancel the five and the fifteen? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Okay. Oh, we get that done with such an easy problem. And then your final answer was nice job, twenty-seven cars. Who can help me with number six? Okay, Cameron, go for it. Read it, please. Okay, what did you do? Okay. Four and one? Four and five. Four and five, you divided by 20. Great, okay. Um, then did you cross cancel with a five and the 65? Uh, okay, so you got one and 13. All right, nice. And for your final answer, nice, 52 seats, great job. Awesome, Declan. Um, can you go, um, I sure. I missed out for that one. Yeah, that's fine. On number four, what we did, can you can you see amidst, amidst all my cross canceling here, what we yeah. started with? So on number four, we started with 18%, so 18 over 100 of 150 cars. So we did 18 hundredths times 150 over one. And then we just kept cross canceling. Finally, we got to 27. Oh, yeah. Maybe you wrote, okay, Mira? Um, about number six. Sure, 80% of 65. Okay, did you get, did you cross cancel the 80 and the 100 similar to, to Cameron? Were you, no, I got eight and one. You got eight and one. You should have gotten eight and 10. Oh, yeah. Eight tenths. So you just did, you did too many zeros on the bottom. Okay. All right. Now let's flip it over. Those ones were easy peasy, lemon squeezy, weren't they? Yeah. Good job on those. Okay. What happens though? Let's say we know a part, but we don't know the whole. What are we going to do? Um, McKinley. Uh, I don't know. Can anybody think of a tool we have in our toolkit that might be able to tell us how to find a whole? Because I can't set this up as a fraction. I can't say like, let's read the first one. It says, Mary raked 40% of the yard and filled up 12 bags of leaves. How many bags will she need to rake the whole yard? Well, I can't say 40% of 12 bags. Like that's not going to give me the right answer. It's like 40% of the yard. We don't know what the yard is. What do I do, Michael? Well, you, you could um, use the inventory. Either. Yes. In fact, that's the only method I really can use on this one. I need, I, on these, I'm going to have to use unitary method the whole way. So for those of you who voted unitary, this is your lucky next 10 minutes right here. <laughs> All right. So yes, we can use unitary on these 40% equals 12 bags. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take it down to 1%. Um, so we would divide 12 by 40. When I'm not going to actually do that right now. I don't feel like doing that. I'm going to leave it like a fraction. What am I multiplying by though? What is my whole? What percentage is my whole? <laughs> what percentage is my whole, McKinley? Yeah, we want to multiply by 100. So we're going to say 40, I'm sorry, 12 over 40 times 100 over one. And the reason I like to leave that as a fraction and not simplify it is because sometimes when I finish the problem, 
there are easier ways to simplify once I have everything written out. Right now I can see, oh, check it out. I can simplify a zero with the 40 and the 100. I'm gonna cross cancel that. And then I can cross cancel the four and the 12. I'll divide both by four. And now I just have three times 10. What's the answer? 30. 30. Okay, 30 what? Bag. Yes, 30 bags. Now we wanna be careful here. We don't wanna answer the, with a percentage sign because that wouldn't be the same thing. Um, it was bags. Jace. Couldn't you just go, uh, couldn't you just go to down to 20? Like, you totally could have done that. You could have done 40 and then 20 and then multiplied by five. Yeah, that would have worked too. Let's do number two. 95% of the ducks in the pond were swimming. If 57 ducks were swimming, how many were in the pond? Okay, what do I do here? Carter, help me out. Yep, great job. Actually, I think that would be 1%, right? That's okay. So you meant 1% equals 57 divided by 95. And then I wanna find the total. So what percentage is the total? Yeah, so we're gonna multiply both sides by 100%. It's really important you guys write down all of the steps here. Landon, you've got your hand up. Do you have a question? You sure? Yeah. Do you know what another thing we could do would be? Do you guys see anything else? Any other ways to solve this? Go ahead, Landon. I mean, I see that I could have found 5% and then added that to the original. If I would have found 5% of 57, um, then I could add that to the original instead of 100%, but we'll just do it in one fell swoop here. All right, let's go ahead and cross cancel the 95 and 100. We're gonna divide both by five. So I'll get 20 up here. I'm gonna get 19 down here. Oh, I think I can divide 57 by 19. What would that be? Raj beer? Yeah. So this is gonna be one. This is gonna be three. What's my final answer, folks? 60. 60 what? Ducks. 60 ducks, good. Let's do one more together. Yeah, Piper? No, you can't do that. And the reason it's not, it's not 57 out of 95. It's 95%, which is all, which is already a fraction, right? 57 is a number. That's a quantity. 95 is a, is an idea. 95%. It's a portion of some unknown bunch of ducks in the pond. So no, we have to do it this way. That was a good question though. All right, number three, 58 kernels popped in the microwave. If 50% of the kernels Joy placed in the microwave popped, how many kernels did she start with? Wow, we almost don't need to do any math on this one, do we? No, we can just double it. Who's got an answer for me? I would, in my mind, what I would do, I would do 60 times two, and then I would subtract four. What'd you get? Um, Landon? 116 kernels, good. All right, finish the last three. Okay, who can help me with number four? Lacey, can you read it for me too, please? Okay, talk me through this, Macy. Okay. Okay. Nice job. And then did you do some cross canceling end up, and did you end up with four times 10 in the end? Yeah. And then the final answer was, good job. Tommy, your hand went up. Did you have a question? Okay, Michael, do you have a question? Okay, you ready to go to the next one? Yeah. All right, Michael, why don't you read and help me with the next one, please? 
Wendy was Wendy won sixty percent of the games she played. If she won forty games, how many games did she play? Okay, how did you do this one? So sixteen and four immediately caught my eye. So I divided I divided with them by four. So I got um let's start let's start with the proper work. What do I how do I set this up? Um well sixty percent of forty or sorry. 16% is 40, right? 16% is 40. Yep, there you go. Okay. So I can divide that by four. Then Hold 40. on, though. We're not dividing anything by four. We've got 16% is 40, so then we're going to divide both sides by 16. Well, that's not how I do it. Okay. So. All right, that's all right. So we're going to end up with 40 over 16 times 100 over 1. Um, we can cross cancel with a 40 and a 16. So did you divide the 40 and the 16 by four to cross cancel? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So you got 10 and on the top and you got four on the bottom? Yeah. Perfect, and then what can I do? Um, okay, so Michael, when you, that's okay. When you say you didn't do it this way, this is the way you have to do it. Okay. The, to find the whole, you really only can do unitary method. And so you really need to make sure that you slow down and write out the proper word because you're going to see patterns and you're going to like, you're like, oh yeah, I can divide both worlds by four. But you need to, your work is going to be just your your safety check, all right, to make sure that you're you're doing the right process. You may have gotten the right number. Let's see when we finish up. But I'm going to go ahead and divide that four and that 100. I'm going to divide both of those by four and I'm going to get 25 up here and one down here. And now I have 10 times 25. What's my final answer? 250. 250 games. Is that what you ended up with? Yeah. Okay, good job. Landon, you got your hand up. Is it a question? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yep, you totally can do that. Sorry, so sorry if I misled you. You don't have to go down to 1%. You could use a 10% if you like that better. That's totally fine. You have to use a unitary though on these. That's what I meant. That's what I should have been clear about. Michael? I just kind of did it in my head, so I immediately went to uh, ages Doing it in my head is the enemy of every sixth grader ever. I mean, math facts, do those in your head, but um, yeah. it's like, I, you know, you guys are getting sick of hearing my example, but I can't read your paragraph in your head. You need to write it out on your paper. Well, I wrote it out. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Who wants to help me with number six? All right, Mira, can you read it out loud, please? Okay. Hank's open 36% of the email. If he had open 25% of the email, how many did he have in the inbox? Okay. So I did 36% is equal to 27. Yep. So 1% is 27 over 36. Then I did 100% equal to 20. Then over 27 over 1. Okay. Okay. Nice job. I think you're right. Um, we can divide both of these by 9. So I would do um, 27 divided by 9 is 3. 36 divided by 9 is 4. And 3 quarters of 100%. That's 75. Nice job. 75 emails. All right, how are we feeling about percentages now? Pretty good? Okay, well, your homework for tonight